Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to update software in Bluepill products. Here, I'll use the RecFusion Live, but the procedure is the same on all Bluepill products. Bluepill products use multiple files to operate. These include the operating system, applications, and device cores. Our developers frequently release new versions, adding new devices, new features, and stability enhancements. For this reason, we recommend you keep your Bluepill devices updated. Please note, the files are updated individually, and how to do it depend on the Bluepill having internet access or not. To cover this, this video is divided into sections covering three main topics. Update the operating system with Bluepill having internet access. Update applications and device cores again with Bluepill having internet access. And finally, update or install any of the files above without Bluepill having internet access. All right. First, we open Reactor, the configuration manager for Bluepill. In the top right corner, you'll see whether device has internet access. This will determine if you should watch the first two chapters in this video or jump to chapter three. Here we do have internet access, so we'll get started on chapter one. Update operating system with internet access. From Reactor homepage, we go to the settings page. In the top section, you see the current version and below we click the update button. To get the very latest updates, you need to enable show pre-releases and open the version list. If the list is empty, this means you already have the latest version. Here we do see an update, so we select it and click update. Now the files are downloaded and installed. After this, the device will reboot, which takes around half a minute. That's it. The operating system has been updated. Time to move on to the next chapter. Update applications and device cores with internet access. On Reactor homepage, in the window top right, we see that internet is connected. Just to the left, we see a yellow arrow. This indicates that a new version of Reactor is available. Note, the arrow is only displayed for new released versions of Reactor, not for pre-releases and not for other files. It's just a nice reminder to update Reactor when possible. All updates, except for the operating system, are handled on the packages page. Here you see a long list of files. The ones in the top are already installed. They include the applications Hardware Manager, System Manager and Reactor, and also any device cores you have installed, for example Blackmagic Atom, Canon XC and vMix. To the right you see the current version number. You can open this and select any specific version you want. Next, a green update button is displayed if a new version is available. And just a tip, you can also uninstall files from here, simply by right-clicking the line and select Uninstall. In the window top, you can enable Show Pre-releases. By doing this, you'll see the very latest updates. Pre-releases often have new models and features added, but are not yet tested to the same extent as the released versions. To install the update, you simply click the Update button. We'll do this for all the available updates. Alright, all the packages, both applications and device cores are now up to date. In the next chapter, we'll install the exact same files, just without Bluepill having internet access. Install and update files without internet access. 
On Reactor homepage, in the window top right, we see that Internet is not connected. You may be able to connect to the Internet using a smartphone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. This is handled in the Wi-Fi section in the Settings page. But here, we assume that Bluepill has no Internet, so we'll update the manual way. This requires three steps. First, go to the Packages page and note the current versions you have installed. Next, use a computer with Internet access to download available updates from our website. Finally, return to the Packages page and manually install the files. Let's do these steps now. Go to the Packages page. In the upper half, we see the files that are already installed. And we also see their current version numbers. Please take note of these or make a screenshot. Next, we use an external computer with Internet access. On this, open our web page devices.skahoy.com. Here you see a list similar to the Packages page. In the window top, you can enable Show Pre-releases. By doing this, you'll see the very latest updates. Pre-releases often have new models and features added, but are not yet tested to the same extent as the released versions. Choose Device Cores and search for the ones you need. I'll start with Atom. If the latest version is higher than the one you noted, then open the Device Core and click the Download Package button. I'm using pre-releases here, but you decide that for yourself. Go back to the overview and repeat this step for the rest of the device cores. All right, next we'll find the applications and operating system. Scroll to the very bottom of the page and click Other Packages. Here you see a list of applications and the operating system. Click the Pre buttons next to Reactor, System Manager and Hardware Manager to download them. We'll leave the others for now. Great! The files are now in the Downloads folder on our computer. It's time for the final step to install them in the Bluepill device. Return to Reactor and to the Packages page. Scroll all the way to the button. Here you'll see the Upload and Install Package button. Click it and select the first of the downloaded files from your computer. Click Confirm to proceed. Now repeat this for all the files you downloaded. You can speed it up by using the keyboard shortcut Command U on Mac or Alt U on Windows. All right. That's it. Now you know how to update software in Bluepill, and we covered how to do it with and without Internet access. Please watch our other how to videos on reactor setup and configuration. Thank you for watching.